But we begin with Dick Brennan here to take us through that video that is sparking such a visceral reaction tonight. Dick, to say it's disturbing to watch is an understatement. Absolutely, Christine and Maurice. Five officers are facing murder charges in this case. More than an hour of footage was released. It shows the officers at first trying to tase Tyree Nichols, and then he runs away. At a second location, they hold him down while he's cuffed and beat him repeatedly. We want to warn you, this is truly disturbing. It's excruciating to watch and to hear. Tyree Nichols enduring a brutal beating from Memphis police officers and then desperately crying out for his mother. Watch out, watch out. Watch out. From a street camera, an officer can be seen belting Nichols with a baton. Then, after he stood up, Nichols is bashed in the face three times by the same officer before he goes down. But it doesn't end there. When he's on the ground, he's kicked by another officer. He's then dragged over to a car where he's propped up. Medics eventually arrive, but appear to have no sense of urgency. At least one officer casually ties his shoe, and two can be seen giving each other a high five. It's gut-wrenching, um, it's barbaric, it's inhumane, it's indecent, it's unconstitutional and unfortunate. Dr. DeLacy Davis, an expert on the use of force, says the video doesn't seem to indicate why Nichols was targeted. The first problem for me from the very beginning is probable cause or reasonable suspicion doesn't appear to exist. Yeah. The incident began as a traffic stop with Nichols being hauled out of his car, seemingly unaware of what was going on. But when the police appear to be ready to start tasing him, Nichols somehow slips the grip of the officers. Man, if you don't lay down, oh, I am on the ground. Put your hands on your stomach. I got these. Okay. Get the fuck back. Stop. I'm not doing it. Nichols takes off down the street, for now free of the officer's brutal grip. But it won't last. He'll be chased down and pummeled again. You could hear Mr. Nichols groaning crying out for his mother, but also his body writhing on the ground and no one rendering aid while he's handcuffed behind his back. And we know that constricts the breathing. So it's just a failure from start to finish. Nichols was propped up against that car for 25 minutes or so. Police officers could be seen milling around talking. Nichols was then taken to the hospital where he died three days later. And late tonight, two sheriff's deputies who were at the scene and in the video have been placed on leave. Maurice and Christine. Okay, Dick, thank you.